Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, I'll give you introduction to jQuery selectors. Guys, selectors allows you to select HTML elements. And here are three types of jQuery selectors. First one is ID, second is class, and third one is element selector or tag name. Whatever you want to say. Now I'll show you the syntax of jQuery selector. So firstly, I'll type script, script tags here, and in between these two script tags, we will type the name of our jQuery selector or we will type the syntax of jQuery selector and guys please ensure that your jQuery file is included inside your HTML document so I will write dollar sign and then document dot ready function and in between these two curly brackets we will write a dollar sign and then two brackets and in between two brackets I will use two single quotes two double quotes or two single quotes whatever you want to use and in between these two single quotes you will write the name of your jQuery selector so firstly we'll make h1 tag so I'll write this is h1 tag so I will I want to select this h1 element so I'll type h1 so this is our selector name h1 is our selector name and then action which action you want to perform on this selector so I'll fade it out guys I want to tell you that don't pay too much attention on actions because about actions I will teach you in my upcoming tutorials upcoming tutorials so I will fade it out and I will give it a time of two seconds means two thousand mean two seconds and now you can also check it fade it is in small letters and o is in capital letter this is called camel casing fade is in small letters o is in capital letter and ut is again in small letter so firstly i'll open it in browser now you will see it is fade fading out in two seconds if I want to use ID selector, so I will write div ID equal to, I will give it the name of first. I'll close it. I'll type this is an ID, so I'll use a pound sign which is which is a symbol of ID, and then we'll type the name of ID. So it's a pound sign and then name of that ID. So if I refresh, now you can see it is hidden in two seconds. In the same way, I can use class. So I will write dot here and I will write class. So this is dot and then name of class. This is a, now class is created. So I write this is a class. If I refresh, now you can see it's hidden in it's fade out in two seconds. So guys, this was just an introduction to jQuery selectors and uh, in the next tutorial guys I'll teach you about class selectors in more detail so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos so let's see you in the next tutorial